Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic Vanilla, the Blood Sail Buccaneers server, and our Hardcore Hunter playthrough. Thank you for clicking on the video and joining me here today. We are starting off in Stormwind. I actually did some fishing and worked on professions yesterday. Yesterday evening, off recording. Uh, so we've got, we did a lot of smelting, that didn't really get us anywhere, but we did make a bunch of copper. Engineering is still at 75. To get engineering going, we, we really need the, the coarse stones. We need to be making the next level of ammunition. And mainly I leveled up fishing. Uh, we can see that is now at 106. And so that is where we're at. I took a little bit of time, worked on the fishing, did a couple of other things, and worked on some professions on the mage as well. I guess we'll go back to equipping this uh, one-handed axe, although the damage from it at this point is probably completely negligible by most enemies. And we're heading out to, to uh, Westfall. We're going into Westfall today. Gonna put our toes in there and see how it feels. See if we get burned. I think we'll be okay. But I felt that way on the Warrior too, and we still melted to what we knew was gonna be the most dangerous mob. So if knowledge can't give us power, I guess we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. I did mean to throw these into the bank. Ugh. That was a missed opportunity to be a little bit more efficient. I guess we'll be best suited just to cut across the landscape here instead of trying to take a road anywhere. I think a couple of you guys mentioned it's around level 18 or so that we can learn Bite 3. And I think we learned that from a wolf, right? Or some of you guys mentioned a spider in Lakhmodan, but I think that was to learn Bite 2. And we already learned Bite 2 from the wolf that we had tamed. Alright, and now the really good thing about us going in here at level 15 is that we can basically work on anything. I think that especially as a hunter, we can work on basically anything. We can work on even the harvest golems right away, they're level 15, and so are we. And I feel like that is an uneven match uh, on our side of things. Let's get our pet back up to completely happy. Alright, we need to recover the pocket watch, and 
need something? We need to get a handful of oats for poor old Blanche. Have a good one. Good day to you. And then we need to deliver the recipe for Westfall stew to uh, Salma Saldian. Now the oats we can start finding right around this area. They can be in bags on the ground. And the pocket watch. I think the pocket watch is going to be right over here. No, this is the Jansen stead. Maybe it's a little bit further down the road. Yeah, I don't think this one's it. Now these regular harvest golems, I don't, I don't think they're going to drop anything that we need. Right now I think the smartest thing to do would just be to come down to Salma Saldian. We'll get the two quests down here. That'll give us the actual Westfall Stew quest. And we can start killing the local wildlife, the birds, the boars, and uh, yeah. Uh, not the coyotes though, strangely. Strangely, I don't think they ever ask us to fight the coyotes. However, we have coyote steak recipe, and it's one of the recipes that we're going to be getting skill ups on, so we're going to be killing every coyote we see, hoping that it drops its meat. And with that, we'll be fighting basically all the wildlife in that case, including the ones we don't see. Need help? Farmer Seldin wants us to take out 20 of the Harvest Watchers that are overrunning his fields and many other fields in Westfall. And they have to be the ones that are level 15 and up. Well, 14. They're not the little ones that we just ran past. For the Alliance, what can I do for you? And he is also a vendor, which is neat. Our inventory is pretty good. Light bless you. Need help? So she wants to make a Gortusk liver pie Hello. and a Westfall stew. It's going to be quite a dinner Farewell. for everybody involved in that one. Nothing we can make right now. All right, let's head out and we'll just get to it. We'll start killing stuff up here. I think my goal right now is... Maybe just to get the oats and to get the pocket watch. And everything else will just be kind of working on uh, slowly over time. The bags of oats are like the hardest thing for me to spot. I'll probably go like a long time and pass by many of them before I actually pick one up. Because yeah, right now I don't see one. And they're just sacks on the ground. They're, they're brown sacks. So the okra we need for Westfall stew, that's good. These are the level 9 ones. These don't count towards the kill quest. I think they could drop the okra. But they don't count towards the kill quest.
Looks like it's time for another feeding. It's really nice having fishing and just always being able to have a stack of fish on me. And then having a pet that actually eats fish. I looked at the chart the other day for uh, what pets eat which food. And some of them are pretty picky. Some of them are pretty picky eaters. And it looked like of all the pets, the, the boar and the bear were the easiest to please as far as what kinds of food you need. A lot of the flying pets were, were very picky. I think the owl only eats meat. I guess that's not very picky when you think about it though. Lots of different recipes translate into meat. Let's not go too much further to the north. We don't have the quest yet for the gnolls. That we're going to get from Sentinel Hill. Really hoping that we actually start seeing some tin. I was hoping we would predominantly see tin in Westfall and Loch Modan, but that has not been the case. Alright, the regular Flesh Rippers are level 14, so we have to be a little bit careful here. Let's head back this way. We forgot to try to retrieve the pocket watch. Inventory is full. Yeah, that's that's not what you like to see. Especially so early in the zone. Luckily, Farmer Seldian is a vendor, so we might have to head back over to him. We're not, we're not incredibly far away. That being said, uh, I don't really want to stop all progress, so I'm just going to ditch some things that I don't need right now. Uh, I shouldn't have bought this when I did. The eggs we could cook, I just don't think we have a recipe for it right now. Oh, herb baked eggs. Okay, so... No, we can sell the eggs too because we're not going to be making this. Alright, let's try to get in here and get the pocket watch though. Are you telling me there's no one here? Okay, I'll take it. Usually there are a couple of guys here. I think one of them was even a named guy. But right now it's completely empty, so I can't complain about that too much. Uh, 
Again, I don't want to fight a bunch of these guys. We don't have space. Nothing we can really get rid of. We can get rid of the bandages. You know what? They're worth money. That's the problem. Everything's worth something. Oh, he's immune to the poison. Okay, of course he is. He's a mechanical construct. Uh, he's, he, maybe he's also immune to taunt? Because he sure doesn't really seem to care about taunt 2 or any of its effects. Huh. That's interesting. We'll have to be careful with that. These guys can hit kind of hard. Yeah, the handful of oats still elusive. I I surely have ran by many of them without even noticing them. That's the sad part. All right, we got the things that we needed: the ribs and the chipped boar tusk. We don't need. No, stop shooting the uh, sting, Robert. It doesn't do any damage over time. If I make room for the flask of oil, that's actually for a quest later on. Over at the lighthouse, that we can just we can just have it done by the time we pick it up, which is always nice. Uh, I probably should just be heading to the vendor, though. That would be really really smart. Instead of continuing to kill stuff in the wrong direction, we should just get ourselves to where we can sell our inventory. I was hoping to see some sacks of oats, but I didn't. If you guys did, go ahead and leave the timestamps. It's like a sack of oats, search and find. Where did Robert not see them? Honor, friend. All right, what can we get rid of here? Leg meat we can do without. Coyote meat we're going to cook inside. I haven't been eating the blood sausage. Let's sell it. Okra we need. Yeah, guys, the problem right now is that, you know, basically we need every single thing that we have in our inventory. I have to sell these even though we probably need them for engineering later. Should have stored them in the bank when I had the chance. Kind of the same thing with the light leather, I have to have those inventory slots back. Yeah, I, I think that's about all we could do. I'm noticing also that we're pretty low. We're pretty low on firepower. Now this is not what we're using. We're using his heavy shot, which is a little bit more powerful, but we don't have any heavy. We'll see if maybe there is an armorer in uh, in Sentinel Hill. Be careful. Who can sell us some regular heavy shot? 
Uh, for right now, I, I think we can continue up here. I would really love to find the oats. That would be super amazing to find the oats to be done with the furbolgs up on the road before we go down to Sentinel Hill. So that we don't have to run back up to them necessarily. Although we will have a murloc quest that'll take us that way. Hmm. Let's go down to Sentinel Hill. We'll just grab all the quests there. That way we have everything and we can do things in any order that we want. Yeah, these watchers must be taunt resistant or taunt immune. Not what I intended to do. <laughs> Just trying to get a little screenshot. Oh, the Murloc eyes we already have. Okay, I, for some reason I always think that's a separate quest. But it's definitely not. It's For some reason it's part of Westfall stew. Apparently they just like to put murloc eyes in their stew. I mean, I think that's absolutely disgusting. Especially because it's murloc eyes and they are sentient, if not like the nearly sentient. I don't think that's like a, a creature you want to be eating its eyeballs either. Just, I mean, I've seen its eyeballs and, and no thank you. Just keep that away from my plate. I think it's also time that we bind our hearthstone somewhere that is not Goldshire, so I am going to set our hearth over here. And uh, yeah, that's going to work a lot better for us, I think. Scout Galan here, Greetings. or Gillian, wants us to find 15 red leather bandanas off of the Defias guys we're going to be fighting. Go with honor, friend. Let's make the in our home. Be careful. King's honor, friend. Farewell. See, mainly I want to get these quests done so that we can get all this stuff turned in and get it out of our inventory. So that's going to be my focus. We can come over here. We'll grab the Defias quest, but I'm not going to be working on that until we're done with this other stuff. Ah, so my friend sent you here. How kind. Well, the Stormwind Monarchy has abandoned our cause. Now it's up to the people's militia to keep the land free from corruption. If our cause interests you, I can put your combat skills to use in the name of freedom. The people's militia has but one goal, to defend the lands of Westfall and return peace to our surroundings. Unfortunately, the price of peace is often blood. One of my scouts has brought word of a band of Defias troopers wreaking havoc nearby. 
I have reports of Defias Trapper sightings near the Jangalode Mine to the northwest, as well as the Molson Farm and Furboro Pumpkin Patch. If you seek to join our ranks, slay 15 trappers and 15 smugglers. Light bless you. Well met. And then he wants us to go talk to Wiley in Lakeshire. The, the band of wretches responsible for driving the good people of Westfall from the land call themselves the Defias Brotherhood. I need you to infiltrate this clan of thugs. We need to know who heads up the cartel and where they are hiding out. In Lakeshire, in the inn, there is a rogue by the name of Wiley who owes me a favor. Travel to Lakeshire in Red Ridge Mountains, east of Elwyn, and find out what you can. Be careful. What can I do for you? A foul-witted depravity rustles through the plains of Westfall. This was my homeland, and I will not turn my back on the citizens who choose to remain here. We, the former farmers, shall make our stand. Your task, should you choose to accept, is to patrol the grasslands of Westfall, track down and slay the vile gnolls that seem to be working in conjunction with the dead mine's thieves. Bring me eight gnoll paws, and I will reward your bravery. Have a good one. Okay, eight gnoll paws. We can do that while we're doing everything else up north if we want to. Quartermaster Hello. here. Uh, well, there you go. He's got heavy shot. The crafted light shot is uh, not as good. Uh, how many six slot bags? Uh, what do I have to do to equip this? Maybe I have to move it. Yeah, it's just not... Uh... There we go. Yeah, it's a bunch of money. Maybe a waste, but... I'm really getting sick of running out of inventory space. I'm sure you can understand. See you around. It's hard as a hunter because you have that bag slot that's eaten up by ammo pouch, but even if it wasn't, you would still need ammo. And what what would happen is, with me, like, if I didn't have an ammo pouch, I would not carry nearly as, as much ammo as I do. And so I would run out all the time. And it would be a shit show. And nobody wants to see me running out of ammo constantly, so I, I'm keeping the ammo pouch. And I'm, I'm hoping we can eventually get a better one. I notice that it has stats on it, increase her range attack by 10%, so it's not an option. You can't take it off for more inventory space. Not when it helps deal like that much additional damage. Oh, uh, <laughs> worst thing in the world to me is like two ranged guys lighting up shots and you just can't stop it, it's, you're too late to stop it. That was a nice 60 crit on an auto attack. Was it just me or was it a big whiff on that arcane shot? Pretty sure it was.
Alright, that's all the vulture meat that we need. So we need one more snout, one more okra, and three murloc eyes. Ooh, I see a bag of oats. That is what they look like. Yeah, these guys have to be immune to taunt. It's, it's the only way to explain why the pet can't keep aggro even on the low level ones. It's uh, pretty annoying, actually. There's the last okra that we need. Here, we'll send the pet in and we'll give them a minute to get some aggro while we pick this up. That worked out better. It does look like it's feeding time again. Let's go ahead and get some fish out. There we go. Wow, I can't believe they saw that respawn and got there that quickly. Nice reacting. Great job. Alright, out of morbid curiosity, how many people am I competing with out here? 38 people, 10 o'clock on a Thursday morning. That's pretty impressive, guys. Pretty impressive. What I'm really looking for right now are handfuls of oats. I'm not seeing any. Which means that the field was probably just cleared out. Here we go. Right by the outhouse. We need two more gore tusk livers and then we will be completely done with the gore tusks as well. Alright, I see a sack of oats right there. Let's send our pet in. He'll need a minute to get some aggro. And a small red pouch. Now the game is, is just taunting us with bags, right? We got the curse bag and the eight slot bag in one episode. Now we just bought a bunch of bags. Now we get a, another six slot bag that we don't need. We get it in Westfall. To me, it's weird to get bags outside of the starting zones. Unless they're eight slot bags. But here we are. We're in Westfall. We're getting a six slot bag. So it is what it is.
All right, everything just popped up around us. That was not good. I'm also kind of worried about this guy and his pack of humans chasing him around. Kind of worried about that. Got another bag of oats over here. And yes, the inventory is full again. Despite the fact that we bought bags. We're going to make our way back down to sell the inn. And we will sell again. Hey, we're done with the liver now. So we really just want to kill a bunch of harvest watchers at this point. We need three more handfuls of oats. Not seeing any over there. Some of them are really, really hard to see. One of you guys had a good idea. It was that you, you turn the ground clutter completely off when you do this quest. Whoops. Oh, environmental detail. Nothing. There we go. Uh, that's ground clutter off, guys. We'll see if that makes it any easier to spot these while we do this quest. Also, look at how we used to play the game back in 2005. I mean, it, it looked much worse than this, I'm sure. But as far as like the amount of ground clutter, I don't really remember there being much ground clutter at all, even this much. It, it helped me find that one. I'll say that. It helped me. It helped me scan for that one with the mouse and find it, having the ground clutter down. Interesting. It's interesting that the things that they add to the game over time, like more and more ground clutter, can actually like retroactively make certain quests very challenging. I feel the same way about herbing. Sometimes I literally cannot see an herb right in front of me because of all the ground clutter. We're not going to leave it like this. We're going to keep this on while we do the handful of oat quest and then we'll turn the ground clutter back up a little bit. Greetings. Let's uh, let's do this first. Let's turn into her. What can I do for you? At least the Gortos liver pie. See you around. We can't. We can't do any such thing because our inventory is full. So now we risk Light vendoring stuff we need. Uh, we know we don't need feathers. We're not going to use the eggs. The flask of oil I want to hang on to. The bag we can sell. I feel like that's like almost all we can do. Rabbits fucking go. Okay, now we could turn that one in. Go with honor, friend. Can I help you? Have a good one. Hold on a second. What did he have for sale here? What can I do for you? 
I, I was, I almost freaked out because I thought this was the handful, we could just buy the handfuls of oats because it's like the same icon almost. That was interesting. We can eat chicken feed though, that's For the alliance. very special. I guess if you don't have any money, you don't have a choice. Well, here's another sack of oats. Actually, that's our last one. We need murloc eyes now. We can get those from the north of here. Let's do that. Let's go to the north of here. We will turn in the stuff at the south the at the furbolgs at the road. Come on, buddy, taunt him off me. And then we'll go get our murloc eyes, and then we'll turn this stuff in, and then we'll be done with this little area of northern Westfall. We found a hunting bow. Fairly certain that we can't use bows. Yeah, we, we don't have the bow skill. And I think we have to go to Darnassus to get the bow skill, and I'm not really... I'm not really thinking about trying to do that anytime soon. That involves a run or a swim. Neither of which I'm inclined to do at this time. The one and only time I plan to do that swim from Menethil is when we do a Night Elf. Because the next time I do a Night Elf, I'm, I'm, I'm transporting them immediately from the leveling zones over there to the leveling zones over here. You need something? There's the Have pocket watch. Hello. That was level 16 also. See you later. Okay. Oh, we need murlocs. So the murlocs are going to be back this way. Let's keep going into Improved Hunter's Mark. The gnolls up here can also drop the armbands that we need for the quest. So that's good. I'm not going to focus on these guys up here, although I do feel like the ones to the north are lower level than the ones to the to the west or the south. Okay, we can uh let's go back into systems. And we I like to keep it at 7. I I don't feel like that's necessary. We'll leave it like that. You guys let me know what you think about the ground clutter now that you've kind of seen how the game looks on YouTube without it. I like when we kill the first mob and we get an item right away. That's a good feeling. Even if after that you don't get an item for a while, it helps to get you going. I know there's probably respawns that are going to pop up. There's usually a runner that paths around in this area. And since I don't see him right now, that means he could pop back into existence at any moment. Let's work on clearing all of these guys out so we have a little safe zone. Our boar sometimes sounds like a velociraptor from Jurassic Park. 
I'm not really sure why. But it is something I've noticed. And surprisingly, we're done here already. We've been getting too lucky with drop rates today. Maybe that's for, like, redemption for the poor drop rates and poor spawn rates yesterday in Lakhmadan. Because it's been too good here in Westfall. We've been getting too lucky. All these quests have been too easy. Uh, fighting the enemies has been too easy. I'm just kind of waiting for the other foot to drop. We, we could go up here and scout for some gnolls. I mean... At this point, I don't see why not. See, some of them are in camps, though. That's a heavy encampment. I don't know if we're breaking this up. Let's see if we get just him. Oh, no, we did not. That's kind of what I was worried about. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can find any just on their own. And that being said, we don't have to fight these guys now, and we don't have to fight them here, so... Maybe we just hold out for now. I wouldn't have minded taking out a couple of them, but... We'll have plenty of opportunity in the western part of the zone to fight Knowles. How many of these guys do we need? 11. This is probably what we need to focus. Inventory's full. I, I want to get a few more of these guys. I want to finish all of the Saldean stuff. So I want this one to be done. Doesn't mean the game is going to spawn enough to make that happen quickly. Can I get to this guy without taking on the bird? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. We're going to... Yeah, let's, let's try this. Yeah, that, that separated them enough, I believe. It doesn't seem like the bird's gonna pull onto our pet.
If I, if I had a spot available, we'd probably have just a ton of copper tubes. So, yeah. I don't know how many copper tubes we're going to need. But it is kind of bothersome that they're engineering components and we can't pick them up because of my inventory, so... That being said, we, we could go sell, right? We could go down to the Seldian farm, but I just know that all of those are going to be farmed completely out. Well, maybe we will head that way. We only need three more, so shouldn't be impossible. It shouldn't be impossible, but could still be challenging. Honor, friend. Light bless you. Yep, let's take the agility spirit legs. Be careful. Well met. Be careful. We'll learn this now to get it out of our inventory. Need help?
go with honor, friend. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get us on a flight into Stormwind. We hit level 16, so we're going to have abilities to learn. I, I also think maybe we have some pet training to do. So I am going to get that stuff taken care of. Overall, it was a very successful first foray into Sentinel Hill. Deceivingly easy. Almost worryingly so. But yeah, being level 15 obviously helped. Being a hunter helps. Being on a pet class helped a lot. Uh, and yeah, I'm having a great time on the Hunter, as I'm sure you guys can tell that I have really been enjoying it. Um, yeah, I, I feel like, you know, I had a lot of fun on the Priest, it was a good run. I'm enjoying this more than the Priest. Uh, definitely enjoying it more than the Rogue. I didn't have enough time on the Paladin, guys, to say one way or another we will be revisiting the Paladin in the future. Uh, because yeah, as of right now, I just, I don't know. Uh, we don't want to go that far. Although, Safe the nice thing is that I could if I wanted to just put myself on a flight and walk away. But yeah, it's been really great. I'm happy that we're in Westfall and that we're actually making progress. Uh, we might go back to Lock Mudan. I, I don't know how much jumping back and forth I want to do. We'll probably do a little bit. Uh, that was just the mining one that we don't really need to track anymore. Skull Thumpers and Seers we could do. We could do this, we can grab the follow-up, then we could go to the west part of the zone. And we could do the Hunter's Lodge stuff and talk to Bingles, get his missing supplies and whatnot. There's not a lot to do in Lakmodan. We might have like... Seven or eight quests left that are not elites, right? So, we'll head back at least once and do a little bit more. But we're definitely gonna at least do the First People's Militia. And uh, we'll do People's Militia, Patrolling Westfall, and Red Leather Bandanas. And then we'll go back to Lock Modan. And then we're going to have to make our way over to Red Ridge at least to talk to Wiley and grab the flight point. But yeah, it's going smoothly. I'm really pleased with the character. Having a great time. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting all of the Deadmines quests going. I do want to do a Deadmines run, but I'm not going to look for a group until we are at the end game for that, until we have all the quests that we can get. So yeah, that's the plan guys. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all so very much for joining me today. I really do appreciate all of the continued support on this series. It does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth again very soon. Bye for now.